All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final episode of Zoo Tycoon 2, where we have built Jurassic World. Man, guys, it has been a wild ride, but we finally done it. We have finally finished the park. I went in here. I, I made sure all the decorations were in place. We have forest everywhere. I I really hope I didn't miss anywhere. I tried to double and triple check, but it's possible that I might have missed somewhere. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can just immerse ourselves as tourists here in Jurassic World and just and just see everything that the park has to offer. I am shocked that the game has not crashed. I am thrilled though. Um so I guess without further ado, let's get going. I don't think I could Fit a single other model in here, be it of uh, animal, be it of decoration, be it of building, <laughs> uh, without the game crashing. And you know, that's that's not a bad thing. We've pushed the XL map to its very limit, and now we're going to indulge. Okay, and there we go. So, let's take a seat right here. So that we can really enjoy this as as a passenger, yeah. You know? All right, right here, here is all of our fellow park. Wow, that's a lot of them. That's all of our fellow park guests. Oh man, here we go. We're uh, we're going in. We're gonna get excited. We're gonna run up all the way to the front, you know, kind of like like they did in Jurassic World itself. We're looking. We're looking. And there it is. There's the big gate. I so wish they finished a Jurassic World gate by now, but that's alright. That's alright. We still got a really cool Jurassic Park gate. Oh, we're going in. We're going through a bunch of plants. Let's just imagine that they're like wiping off the windshield is what's happening. Ah, and there we go. We're coming in. The end is within sight. Man, this is a long monorail ride. Oh, there's something in the water, but we clearly can't tell from here. Maybe we've heard rumors. And I guess we're just gonna go right through... Wait. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. There we go. We have exited the vehicle. There we go. Whew. Welcome to Isla Nublar. Bienvenue. Welcome. Vitame. Benvenuto. Ah, oh, everything. Already finding ourselves with all these skeletons, and you know, I think we're so excited. We're just we're just gonna run right through this park. Man, the map of these little nublar right here by the innovation center. Look at that sight. Gyrosphere is over there, oh, but we gotta we gotta run all the way through this. We gotta we gotta see all there is to see on Main Street. Oh man, a gift shop. We got all these restaurants. We got a nice little dining area. Oh, we have this guy. Okay, that's that's kind of terrifying. Another restaurant. Ah, oh, look at that. A nice T-Rex skeleton. Oh, what's this? Gallimimus of Valley. That's a place to check out in a bit. Ooh, but then there's this big basin of water. Let's, let's check this out from all the way up here, shall we? Hmm. It seems as though the show is off hours. So, perhaps we'll go to the underwater viewing area. And 
nice little park for the kids. What's this? It seems like a big cavern. Perhaps we'll check this out when we're done looking through our glass right over there. What could possibly in here? What? A Mosasaur. Oh my. Alright, let's take a look in here. Ah, oh, and there he is, ladies and gents. First animal we're seeing here in Jurassic World, which has now vanished before our eyes. The Mosasaur. Let's hope that he, she, turns around and, and says hi again. Let's see, let's go over here as well. Yeah, it's a nice big old aquarium. I'm really happy that I was able to make it this big, you know? I was worried I wouldn't be able to do it justice in the film, but... Ah, oh, there he is! There he is. Oh, he's coming right towards us. Oof. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Park keeper tired from work. Well, why don't we check out this area right here now? Side note, I know I was supposed to put a bunch of rocks on there, but it just started lagging like crazy and I really didn't want to chance it, so we're just gonna roll with that. Oh man, look at that. The Dilophosaurus stalking around in its little cavern. Where's the other one? Is he in here somewhere? Maybe? can't tell if he's in there. So I know there's two of them in here. I only see the one. Someone just started crying. That was weird. Where is that second one? He must be hiding in the forest somewhere. If I had to guess. Oh, that's alright. All right, so the Dilophosauruses were fantastic. Let's, uh, let's mosey on over this way. As expected, the game will probably crash on us a couple of times throughout the course of this playthrough. Um, well, not playthrough, just walkthrough, because, I mean, you guys can tell, this place is packed. But, you know, whatever. We don't have to worry about the game actually being a race at this point, because we're not adding anything else. So, how about we check out the Gallimimus Valley next? There we go. We're, you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna jump right on over here because you know. Can we can we board the vehicle? Yes, yes, we can. There we go. Ah, right, here we go. As you see, we have so many yellow minuses. Oh dear, when they call it Val Gallimimus Valley, they're really not kidding. Ah, oh, there's a lovely Parasaurolophus as well. Some Edmontosauruses just chilling, just chilling. Oh, look at that guy re -rub. so cool, but, <sighs> but even so. <sighs> and look at that, that is an enormous block. That is massive. And this Parasaurolophus just won't move. There you go. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Right over here. Oh, 
no. Oh no. Aww. Alright, at least he's just walking on over. Alright, we're good. Oh, okay, and then there's another one. So many Gallimimuses. But you know, I see some gyrospheres off in the distance. Perhaps that would be a fun next attraction to try out. This way. Right back through Main Street. And let's see, the gyrosphere was right over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there we are. There's this nice little, whoop, nice little beach right here. Oh, but look at that. The aviary is on the way. Let's check that out. Oh, huge dome containing all the pterosaurs. Man, I love the way this all looks. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, you can just, like, hear them. They're ready for us. Oh, looks like there's going to be a dimorphodon. And it's a Ranadon, and here's a great little view of the park. Alright, and we're just gonna go right on in and take a look at up. Pteranodon just flying around. Some Dimorphodons chilling. And an entertainer. Okay, we're not gonna pay attention to that. Nope. That's right, he's gonna be eaten soon. Alright. So we're gonna go right back down this way. Ooh, another Stegoceros. Yeah, Stega. Oh my god. Triceratops. Jeez, I almost had Stegoceratops. Yeesh. That would have been bad. Uh, you know, we could just sort of cut ahead. Or maybe we can't. Maybe we have to go through the line just like that poor soul. Ooh, right. Because we have the Ankylosaurus. We have Triceratops in here. We have a Patasaurus, Triceratops territory, we know Stegosaurus is in here. Now we just wait for a nice gyrosphere to show up. Alright, and we are in. See, is there, is there anyone next to us here? Ah, yes, it's our good friend, uh, Bobby. Yeah! Who is very excited for this, apparently. I mean, but wouldn't you be? It's the Gyrus here. And just as you pull in, an Apatosaurus just slowly walks by. Another one's chilling right there. An Apatos... Or, Apatos... A Brachiosaurus is just standing there in the middle. Oh, man. One is just going in, standing so high above the treetops. And oh, you look over there, there's a Triceratops and, and Ankylosaurus just napping in the trees. Some Parasaurolophuses just chilling over there. Of course, a Stegosaurus just walking on by. Oh man, look at that. See, Bobby shares our enthusiasm. Oh, look at that. The trikes are just chilling right over there. Another stegosaurus. Oh, he's eating. 
heard of Paris Aurolophus has just shown up and is just sort of taking a nap too. Ah, there is a big boy just walking on by. Almost look like that Stegosaurus just got spooked by the gyrosphere going on by. Ah, and then we bid goodbye to the gyrosphere valley. Just wait for this to move forward. And we're out. Okay. And I guess we gotta go through here. That didn't quite work out as I'd hoped, but whatever. Uh, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Alright, and we've checked out the aviary, so I think next up would be off in the direction of the Cretaceous Cruise. Man, even just walking down this kind of crappy main street is just... Oh, what a dream this would be, you know? What a dream. So we're going to go off this way. Passing by some jungle ruins. Perhaps ruins of the old Jurassic Park. Eh? Eh? And what's that? Is that a landmark? I see. That is a Velociraptor statue. I wonder if that... Is that a precursor of something to come? Perhaps? Maybe? Eh? Maybe? Well, it looks like we have a little cave here, and we have a pretty heftily designed exhibit, so why don't we check out this here, Packy Arena, first. Alright, and there we go, our lovely Pachycephalosaurus grazing. Wish they came a little closer, but, ah, what can you do? the raptor paddock all hype for the velociraptor Let's see so we're gonna walk on down here let's see up ah, and there they are All four of them. Echo, Charlie, Delta, and of course, Blue. Well, they've vanished into the forest now, but that's alright. turn it around this way because we just saw a sign for the Cretaceous Cruise on our way over here ah, and we have top 300 Gallimimus 
Fantastic. There we go, there we go. We're gonna go around. Alright. And now I guess we just wait for a kayak for our Cretaceous Cruise Adventure to begin. I see one coming now. Ooh, this Cretaceous Cruise portion might last a little while. <laughs> uh, but that's alright. It's gonna be a really cool while. And there we go. We're all on board. And I am 100% expecting it to crash at least once while we're in here. But, you know, that's alright. We'll just pick off as close to where we left off when that happens. But here we go. You see something lumbering off in the distance. Clearly a heavily forested area. Oh jeez, gal, minus 327. Well, you know, while we're just cruising down here, uh, I might as well talk to you guys uh, as a YouTuber, I guess. Uh, yeah, this will wrap us up for, for Jurassic World. So, if you guys have any other ideas, I'd love to hear them. Uh, I know Pokemon Mega Adventure didn't do too well, but I'm about to get my hands on Pokemon Uranium, and I'm considering playing through that, if that sounds at all interesting to you guys. Uh, I know I had a few other people mention ideas for other exhibits to do in Zoo Tycoon, so what I might do is have, like, start up a zoo, essentially, that's just, like, we'll be doing exhibits based on, based on what you guys want to see, you know? Uh, so... You know, you guys will comment, you guys can upvote your guys' comments, and, you know, we'll, we'll figure out, like, how to fill that zoo together, you know? But we'll, I want to do that as, like, an ongoing thing. I definitely want to get, like, an actual other game going on alongside Zoo Tycoon, you know? So, like I said, I'm considering Uranium. Uh, there's a good chance I might do Uranium. Uh, I'm not really sure what else, so if you guys want to shoot me any suggestions, please feel free. Oh, and there we go, there's the Metrocanthosaurus as we almost talked our way through them because they're hiding off in the bushes. I guess they're a little camera shy. Oh, oh man. Oh, God. Hey, he just made a lunge at us. Whew. About to say they were camera shy. Those, those guys are just predators. They're just waiting. Alright, and we go off into the next one. We see a Sukomimus right on over there. Where are the Baryonyx? I want to see the Baryonyx. Oh, oh, I see one right on over there. Oh man, this really is slow, isn't it? Ooh, there's another Sukumimus. That's kind of cool. It's like the Sukumimus took one side of the river, and then the Baryonyx took the other half. That's actually really cool how that kind of naturally happened. And as I say that, that dude... Oh, no, he's not actually crossing. Oh, is he crossing? He might be crossing. Maybe he's going to war. Maybe he's going to war. I don't know. Let's take a look at this dude. He's just chilling on the riverbank, you know. Just on the lookout. That's so sweet. Oh, is there... Uh, I thought I saw another tail over there. Okay, yeah, no, there we go. There's Baryonyx and Sukumimus just move, going on side by side. It looks like a villain and his henchmen just walking off. Oh, and here's here's a beauty right in front of us. Just waiting. Just waiting and levitating, I guess. Let's not look at the levitating Spinosaurus quite yet. Gonna wave goodbye to the Baryonyx and the Sukumimus. And that was a little weird cutaway, but there we go. There's our Spinosaurus just walking on by. Hiding in the trees, I guess. I guess she got a little upset with us with that she was levitating and we didn't pay as much attention to her. 
Oh, God, she's just staring us down. Oh, 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 boy. Here we go. Coming right towards us. Oh, that's cool. It's like she's going to lurk inside of the uh, of the upturned ship. It's like she's using that as her lair. That's so sweet. Just sticking her head out. Oh man, Spinosaurus Swamp, guys. What a concept. All right, and we're heading right on the uh, next portion of the cruise. It's like you can almost hear it in the trees, kind of like in the uh, in the original novel. Just hoping it's even kind of scampering around through the foliage there, but that's all right because we see a few of them kind of running around here. All right, these are our Othnelia slash Microceratus. So let's just say Microceratus for the sake of this being Jurassic World. There's so many of them in there, but they're all hiding in the foliage. Oh, hey, there we go. There's one up close. Oh, that's all right. We got to see them for a few seconds, and they know they're just replacements, so that's all that matters. Going off into the into the watering hole of of the gyrosphere area, we see some Parasaurolophus already wading through the water like proper hadrosaurs. A nest has been built on on, on the uh, riverbeds because life finds a way. Clearly, something in there. I think it's a Triceratops. Yeah, I think there's just a Triceratops napping in there. Is what's going on. Oh, and then we see an Apatosaurus over there. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, are they... Oh, God, are they fighting? Okay, so we have some fighting Apatosauruses up ahead. That can't be good. Oh man, they're clearly not very happy. Well, in the meantime, docile herd of Parasaurolophus just chilling here. you guys doing? Are you fighting too? Or are you guys just cuddling? I'd like to think you're cuddling. I just hyped you guys up as docile. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, and then through the treetop you could just make out one of the apatosaurs browsing around for them for a meal. Apatosaurus just, just walking right alongside us here. There's a lot of Parasaurolophuses right by the waterway.
That's cool though, kind of like in the film, one of the apatosaurs was like in the water going right alongside the canoe, I guess. We got our own version with that right here with the, uh, with the Parasaurolophus instead. Alright, and here we go. Heading right on towards the, uh, next area of the Cretaceous Cruise. We got the Avery again, but from a very different angle. Gonna get up close and personal. almost like its own little hidden valley right here this could have been like another area of animals but i'm not really sure what could have gone in here uh, oh well we've overloaded this game so much with so many different models <laughs> this could just be a nice little breather in between like you know the driver's here watering hole and the aviary from an up close and personal point of view Our pteranodons. I still think that's like really cool view from the boat of like the, the raised glass viewing area. That just looks so nice. It's a lovely waterfall. Oh, and the thing, the mist coming off of it fixed itself. Awesome. Pteranodons just chilling by the carcass of something. And then Dimorphodons, I guess, have taken up residence on that little island. Yeah, they're just sort of flocking together, species by species, because there's them and the Pteranodons are all over there. That's kind of cool. Always love when that happens. Slowly but surely cruising our way on out of the aviary. Hopefully they destroy that saber tooth dude pretty soon. It's kind of another spot I guess that like could have had something. But yeah, it really could have overloaded the game, and like it's already pushed way, way up. Ooh, what an eerie structure. I wonder what could possibly be seen from there. I guess we'll find out sometime after the cruise ends. This is the part where I guess people just, just sort of relax for a moment, you know? Like, the Cretaceous Cruise covers so, so much, you know? And frankly, it'd be a bit of a faster uh, entryway to the next dock if we could just, like, go straight under the, uh, the rampway. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. Game mechanics are just too, uh too finicky to do that to get away with it which is a shame because that would have been really cool just have the boats go like right under the air but but oh well it happens normally i would just like jump ahead to like to the actual dock but you know it's it's kind of nice to just indulge in the actual experience like this is what it would actually be like if we were to be guests at this park you know
And as we almost beat ourselves, we are now at the dock. Alrighty. So, conveniently, that takes us right back to the front of the park. And that, of course... Oh, that was a really cool shot, actually. Ah, there we go. Leaves T-Rex Kingdom for us to go to. Ironically hidden behind a Spinosaurus skeleton. Alright, let's head right on in. Is that a sign? Even just T-Rex this way. Alright, it might take a little while for the T-Rex to show back up. Because she might be in the forest somewhere. So let's just... Let's just chill and let's just look out for her. Ah, and there she is. God, now I know how Alan felt when uh, when they had to wait for her with the goat in the first movie. Wow, that was a very brief appearance. Thanks, Rexy. Thanks for uh, sparing a minute of your time. Alright, that's fine. Gonna go ahead, go right on out here. And that seems like it might be the only thing, but wait, what is this unlabeled path over here? Thicket of trees everywhere, a little river over there. Just a path up or not to an observatory for the Indominus Rex. What does that even say? Indominus Rex. Paddock, very high danger, carn carnivore. <clears throat> Alrighty, and so we approach. We see all this mist, all this fog, trying to make out what could possibly be in there. We walk over here, and oh, and there it is. Massive, terrifying, and just lingering. Slowly slipping into the foliage like a ghost in the night. That was actually kind of perfect. I think that's about all we're getting out of the Indominus, but that's alright. That was that was pretty cool in of itself. Oh wait, never mind. There he is. She is. Oh, she's checking us out. And now there she goes, slipping right back away. That was really cool, actually. Alright, and after a long day of sightseeing and exploring, you realize that you have just closed out Jurassic World. Alright guys, so I guess that's it for Jurassic World. We did it. We built the whole damn thing. Every single animal that was advertised on the site, we got it. Every attraction, we got it. I guess I leave you with a cruising Mosasaur. Alright guys, if you please leave a like, please subscribe if you like this, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of, of this entire project, leave ideas for what you'd like to see next, if you have exhibit ideas for another zoo, please let me know, if you just have another game you want me to check out and try to play, let me know that as well. Guys, it's been a pleasure, take care, I'll see you next time.